video. All right, so I asked you a while ago. Sorry, this, this is taking so long to make, but life happens. Um, anyways, so I asked you a while ago to um, uh, give me your input on another topic that I had, and that is things that annoy people with um, disabilities or disabilities, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to honestly, to my surprise, a lot of you gave me your input. So thank you so much to everyone who gave me their input. It was really appreciated and really helpful. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna um, read what you guys wrote me, and then I'm gonna have um, my own um, input at the end. Okay. So <laughs> one person said, again, I'm keeping who said what private just because anyways so one person told me when people tell me omg you are so brave and inspiring keep up the good work and all i did was drink some water oh my god so i know i rented about this before but guys don't give people with disabilities or disabilities whatever you want to call it um praise for doing simple things like like um drinking water or whatever or like i've said um opening the door for ourselves because a lot of times it's not that hard to do things that you guys do like it's not hard for us to do like everyday things um we may we may do them differently sometimes and it may be in a different format but it's still not hard just in a different way um or it may be in the same way that you normal people do it um we just we just we just have an adaptability so don't praise on things that are easy for us okay that's not that's that's weird. Um, when people okay, this is kind of the same thing, but another person said when people tell me I'm so independent because I can um, put my own wheelchair, I can take my own wheelchair out of my car. Um, yeah, like I said, not that hard for us to do. Sometimes um, we may just look different doing it. So don't have to applaud everything we do. Like we're not in kindergarten. We don't need an applause every five seconds. It's it's okay. <laughs> Um, same person said, also when people say the wheelchair access is around the back, oh, but there are two steps in front of the door. <gasps> oh my god, you do not understand how, hold on, I think I need to get more back, sorry. You don't understand how much that annoys me to, like, I have gone to, like, venues or whatever, and right away we'll ask, like, is it wheelchair accessible, like, to get in? And they're like, yeah, 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 it's wheelchair accessible, there's just two steps. That does not make it wheelchair accessible. Oh my god. Wheelchair accessible means that I can just roll in. Roll it in. Ew, my arms are flabby. But, oh my god. I can just roll in. I don't have... I, wheelchair accessible does not mean that my father or whoever else I'm with is going to have to, like, carry me either in my chair already or take me inside the venue first or by wheelchair and... Ugh. Wheelchair accessible means easy for me, not a mission. So venues, get your ish together and make sure that if you're calling your place wheelchair accessible that it actually is or else I will sue you. Maybe not, but I have felt like it sometimes. <sighs> Can I sue for them lying about that? I don't know. L let me let me know down below if you know. I, I really won't sue probably, but just, I just want to know. Okay, so <laughs> another person said, when people ask me if it hurts when I walk, or when they just assume I'm fragile sensitive, which I am not, lol. Well. <laughs> okay, yes, we may have, I guess, less uh, stronger bones or body sometimes, depending on the editability and its level and all that, but that doesn't mean we're like this little fragile cup of china set or, or whatever. Like, we're not always you know, breakable and so fragile, like, and it doesn't, and, and also just because we may have to, like, use, um, things to walk, like crutches or walkers or whatever, that doesn't mean it hurts us to walk, we just have to, we just need extra support. Um, so please don't always think we're fragile and we're gonna break at any moment because we may be stronger than you think. So, get your edge together, people. I sound so mean in this video, I feel, but I love you guys. Um, another person said, people constantly staring. <sighs> if I had a nickel for every time someone stared at me, I'd have a lot of nickels. Is, is, is that an expression or is it like dimes? I don't know, whatever. I'd have a lot of money, basically, if for every time someone stared at me. 
Like, I get it. Like, I'm not the everyday view you might get, but I'm also not putting a show for you all or not trying to. Like, it's rude to stare. And if you're going to stare at me, at least have the decency of not making it all obvious. You don't know how many times I have been out, out like, in the streets or whatever. And grown people, not, not, not children, grown people who should know better stare at me and they make it so obvious and like and then I stare back and they keep staring and I'm like why are you looking at me is there something like written on my face like oh my god it annoys me so much you guys it's it's literally so annoying I, I can't deal um so yes I understand like I'm for the most part used to people staring at me but still I don't want you to stare at me um get your ish together I got the wrong thing so yeah stop staring at me or at least make it not noticeable. Uh, okay, so this next one kind of like, what's it called, it relates to, so thank you for making this so easy for me, you guys just helped me so much. Um, okay, so another person said, it annoys me when young kids are genuinely curious and parents stop them from, from asking, saying it's rude. If the kid is educated later on, he won't see disabled people as weird and probably won't be a bully. Um, so, I agree with this person saying, like, uh, parents don't know how to educate their children the right way on explaining why people have um, disabilities or disabilities, whatever. And I've encountered it so many times, like, I'll be, like I said, out um, in the community or whatever, and some kid will really loudly be like, Mommy, Mommy, what's wrong with her? Why is she in that thing? And why does she have those things on her? Um, meaning like my leg races or whatever from wearing shorts or if just my legs look funny under my jeans. And I'll have like some, I'll have like different reactions. Like the mom will, will just either like ignore the question and be like, okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Or some will like make like their own show to cause attention from others and be like, why are you being so ignorant? Like, stop, let's go. Oh my God, you're so dumb. I didn't raise you to be dumb like this. And I'm just like, oh my God, girl or boy, because there's been fathers. I mean, it's mainly moms I've seen do, but it's, it's also sometimes like a father here and there. But parents, if any parents are watching me uh, with children, with children who have asked you that, don't scold your kid. Like, your kid doesn't know any better. If you want to teach them the right way, be like, oh my god, stop ringing. Sorry. Uh, just tell them, listen, honey, sometimes people um, are born different. Well, everyone's born different. No one's the same, but sometimes uh, some people have, uh, you know, things that... Um, Sorry, my mind dribbling. But basically, just say something along the, along the lines of like, listen, honey. Sometimes people uh, are born different, and they need uh, special help to get around. So that's why that girl or boy or whatever is in a wheelchair. Um, and yeah, she's just different and um, has to do things differently or live things differently. But she's still a human being and um, normal, just different. Because we're so normal, just different. Let's see. Um, okay, another person said political correctness. And uh, this person and I have had this discussion before, but uh, I want to chime in again a little bit. Um, so basically, uh, what this person is talking about, like, there's so many different words, or th there's, like, new words that uh, are, like, that's coming out to define... Uh, people with uh, disabilities like like a disability um, and there's some people who like the old terms like disability um, I have mentioned in the past how I've been comfortable with the word crippled um, and um, like I always say like use whatever term you're comfortable with just know the meaning behind it and it's, and it's history and if you're okay with it then by all means use it um, I prefer now the word adaptability and, and, and adaptive but I mean, whatever floats your boat, you know, I don't judge whatever you like, just know the history behind it. And if you're fine calling yourself that or then do you. Um, let's see, oh no, come back. Okay, 
people who decide, another person said, people who decide for us what we can and cannot do with no regard to our own thoughts. Ugh, yes, girl. Oh my god. There, you don't know how many times. I think especially, um, in like, school settings where, like, teachers or just like assistants that I've worked with will automatically decide like, like what I need or what needs to be done without asking me for my input just because I've been young or they just don't think that I'm capable of thinking for myself or maybe or maybe they don't they, they don't mean no harm but they kind of do because I'm a well function, functioning thinking human like I can think for myself and I can make my own decisions sometimes and well most of the times now um, and I don't need everything decided for me. Just because we have an adaptability doesn't mean that we need things decided for us. Like, we have capable thinking brains, um, and, yeah, if our, if our adaptability is physical, it's not always, um, you know, I guess it's not always mental. Um, I hope I'm saying the correct thing, going back to political correctness, but, yeah. So please... <laughs> Don't think that, don't always turn to decisions for us because it's, well, it's annoying and it makes us not feel great. So, yeah. Let us decide for ourselves and, and ask us for our input because we may have a better solution than you. Okay, moving on. Sorry, I'm just really passionate about that one because I'm kind of going through that right now. Maybe you guys will find out more about that later. Anyways, um, okay, so another person said, there's not very many things that are more offensive and hurtful to me than abled people saying stuff like that they see past the disability or campaigns that are titled don't diss my ability and similar my disability is essential to my identity and I'm not ashamed of it and to say that you don't see it is basically saying that you don't really see me for who I am. Now I, um, I had a conversation with this person too I'm pretty sure um, and I guess I see where she's coming from, but I told her my view. I'm like, to me, it doesn't, to me, this is my opinion, um, I don't think of those campaigns, uh, meaning like they don't, like they disregard your editability or disability, whatever you want to call it, um, they just don't define you as that alone, like they see you as a person first and not a disability or editability, whatever. Um... But again, that's just my input, um, and yeah. Um, <laughs> another person said, the weather, rain and snow is Mother Nature's joke to people with adaptabilities. Um, that one's funny, uh, but that's so true. Um, I pretty, I'm pretty sure I mentioned, uh, I have like all kinds of metal in my back, so I have like my own AC going on inside my body. So when it is raining and when there is snow, my body is not okay and it hurts and this is why I am moving to LA as soon as I can. Even if I had to live in a box because the rent there is not cheap. Um, another person said how close-minded people are or judgmental for example um, uh, there are people there are also people who just stare at scars or when you limp um, etc and so easy to ask uh, but they wait till you pass and start talking ne neg negatively about you. Um, now, I've, all, uh, I've of course um, had close minded people and judgmental people and people stare at me. Um, but, you know, it's... I, I mean, I'm not saying like I've never had people talk about me negatively behind my back or in front of me. Because, oh, not, not, not in front of me because I would have known. But honestly, I've been so blessed to really not deal with bullies or whatever, um, at least not to my face. Um, so, but 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 I've had people tell me similar similar scenarios like so often where I'm just like, I can't believe that someone would like make like I guess talk bad about you because of something that you can't control, um, like a limp or. I don't know, because you have to, this person has also told me before how, like, she's been judged for using, uh, like, a, a placard, uh, for when you park, 
because they see that she doesn't um, have to use uh, crutches or a wheelchair really and they think that she's faking it um, and it's just like it's so crazy to me because I guess because like my disability is a little bit more obvious like it's more visible since I have to always either depend on my walker or, or wheelchair um, but yeah it's just crazy like I've never really experienced people being so ignorant uh, when it comes to like I guess <laughs> judging me for something I can't control but it's just it's cr it's crazy seeing how others have had to deal with that and it's crazy that I've never had to deal with it because you would think I would too but I really have or maybe I just don't pay attention to it I don't know guys but honestly I don't feel like I've ever had to deal with that which I'm thankful but it sucks that a lot of you have so I'm sorry for that um let's see another person said um she kind of gave me a, a whole list. Um, she said headaches, pain, the stairs. Uh, um, she doesn't like the word crippled, which I respect. Um, the scars, insecurities. <laughs> She's like, I could go on. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really feel like I have to really explain much of that. Um, but there is a lot of things that are not always so fun to deal with the disabilities and clearly sometimes it's a whole list so thank you for sharing my love um she also said one that says people who ask your friend what is wrong with you after spending an hour with them too i've had this happen to me too where like i'll be out with a family or friend and they have like their own separate friend or family there that isn't isn't mine but whatever we're chilling and like if I leave or whatever either just for a moment or like I leave in general from them the next day or whatever when I see them again they'll be like um so my family or friend or whatever asked like um uh what's wrong with you and yeah and I'm just like oh well I don't know if they're just trying to like be like not hurt my feelings so they don't ask me personally but I'd rather you ask me personally what you think is wrong with me um, rather than you ask my friend or family or whatever because I can explain to you better what's going on with me or really not going on with me. Um, so just ask, personally for me, just ask me. Um, you don't want me to ask somebody else because they won't give you the full explanation that I feel is appropriate like, like I will. So yeah. Um, I hope I still have it saved but um, I won't uh, say the whole list but basically I found um, a, a website of other things that annoy people with disabilities and disabilities if you guys want to check it out I'll link it down below um, and I related to so many of them actually I think I related to all of them um, um, so I'll um, I'll put down the link down below to, if you guys want to check it out um, but I uh, that's my input of things that I related to um, of things that annoy me with an disability or disability, whatever you call it. Um, and yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for your input and everyone who gave it to me. Um, please like if you like this video. Uh, give me a comment on things that annoy you as well. If you have an, an a disability or disability, I can't ever talk, but what's new? Um, share if you, find this video, if you find this video worthy of sharing. I can't talk. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!